Hi guys, this is Atco. In a few moments, I'm going to show you a video that's a review of the VEC 1290K AM transmitter. At the end of the video, I'll give you my view of this unit. Well guys, uh, you probably know by now I'm getting a little into this uh, antique radio stuff. And it's cool. I've picked up quite a few uh, AM radios lately. One of the things I've found is that, at least where I live, there's not a whole lot of good stations that I can pick up. Almost no music, but even with that, they're not very uh, strong where I'm at. So what I really need is a um, AM radio transmitter. Now they can go cheap and they can go expensive. But all I really needed was uh, something that would go, I'd like to be able to go anywhere in the house. I'm not trying to go into a, a mile or two. If I can get through most of any of the rooms in, in the house, I'd be happy with that. And I would just use my, either my iPod or even my PC to use the output of that, the uh, transmitter, and then transmit over to whatever the tune that I need, my AM radio band. So I started looking around and I saw this one. It's made by a company called Vectronics. It just, uh, it's a kit, but it's only uh, 30 bucks. You gotta put it together, but it um, doesn't look like there's a whole lot to it. The $29.95, it's the board and all the uh, components. You have to put it together. It doesn't come with a case, but you can buy a case with it Fourteen dollars and ninety-five cents, you know, fifteen bucks. So you have a finished-looking unit. So I figured, you know, what's that? Forty-five bucks plus a little bit of shipping. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal. It's mono; it's not stereo. But most stuff off of AM was uh, just mono, so it didn't really matter. So I bought it. Came in, nice bag full of all the components. And then uh, they had the case with a little bit of components in it as well for the, uh, the case. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, so here's my little video of doing the kit, putting the kit together. It took me a few hours to put this together, so I'm not going to have everybody watch this thing go through uh, component to component. Uh, I uh, kind of compressed the whole thing down to uh, uh, within four minutes. But I thought in case you see what there is involved in order to do the installation. Okay, so uh, see what you think. Okay, first thing it asks is to put the 15 ohm resistor in R2. Alright, let's uh, find a spot for that. Okay, and then I'll trim that. Okay. Bind a one K ohm. Brown, black, and red watt resistor. And solder. Okay. Locate to the five two pin jumpers all right 
those are the jumpers. Okay, two 10 picofarad capacitors and put them in C1 and C, no, C9 and C10. C3, C4, C5, C6, C6, C7, all 0.1 microfarads. Locate the two 100 picofarad trimmers. Alright, here's a C11. L3 Okay, it's all done. I had already aligned the transmitter when I was down in the basement. Set it up for a thousand K on the band, where at that time it sounded it was quiet in that area. When I came upstairs into the game room, there was a hum in that range in the in the band. When I finally get this thing perfect the way I want it. I'll test it again and find a better place. But right now it's working really good I think. If you can look past that little bit of a hum I think it sounds pretty good. So uh, I'm going to show you a little test from this thing. I'm just going to use my, my PC uh, for the songs and the sounds that I have and it will transmit it over to the AM transmitter. I'll let this uh, Emerson from the, I don't know, somewhere around 59, 62, 64, something like that. Be a good radio for what you would have heard at that time in the, the 60s. Okay, guys, try it. Listen to it. Tell me what you think. Something that will strike terror into the hearts of criminals everywhere. I see. Well, how about this? Hmm. No, I don't think so. Why not try it on? Very well. Here, I'll help you. Thank you. Ah. There you are. Now, take a look in the mirror. Hmm. Not bad. I wonder if you would permit me to conduct a quick experiment outside this store. Certainly. Pardon me, sir. Yeah? Are you by chance a vicious criminal? Uh-huh. Fine. Would you take a look at this costume I'm wearing? Yeah. Do you feel anything strange? 
Uh, anything at all? Uh, yeah. And what is that? I'd uh, like to kiss you. Kiss me? Yeah. How do you account for that? Because you look like an adorable bunny rabbit. Well, how did it go? What else do you have? A teddy bear and a chicken. A teddy bear? It'd be cute. Wrap up the chicken, please. Be listening tomorrow for another exciting episode in the life of the most fantastic crime fighter the world has ever known. <laughs> Okay, guys, here's what I see. It works pretty good. It gives enough distance to at least get through most of my house. It broke up a little bit down in the basement, but definitely handed everything in the, the main room and picked up my stuff in the bedroom. So I was pleased with that. That's all I was asking for. As far as how did it sound, it's okay. I mean, it's all mono. But the only thing I had, it had still had a little bit of a hum. You don't hear too much of it, but I didn't expect to have a little bit of the hum there. I saw that you could adjust the variable caps that were in there that made a big difference, but I couldn't completely get rid of it. All right, now, other than that, it did what its job. What I liked about it is that it's, it's small. I don't have to have much space for this thing. And it was only 30 bucks, and then you don't have to have the case but I did which was another 15 bucks on the bad side you know if you already have the parts like um, a 12 volt DC adapter and you have the cable or at least can make a cable that will go from that RCA plug to miniature plug uh, off your iPod but of course you got to realize this is also a mono so um, you may need uh, an adapter to go from stereo to mono. Now I had all that stuff so it didn't cost me anything for that. Uh, but as far as Costco standpoint if you didn't have those things you know you could you could pay another 15-20 bucks for that stuff so that needs to be added to it if uh, if you didn't have those things. And and the quality of it was pretty good. But some of these others that, that you guys with um, my gal you know, they sound really good, and, and mine are okay, but I could see it, the quality being a little bit better. So, if you take all that together, I would say it's between a 7 to 8 on a range from 1 to 10, with uh, 1 being not working and 10 working perfect. Uh, it's doing what I wanted it to do, and for the price, you can't ask for much more. Okay, so that's my view. This is Zetco signing off.